What was you saying, Abe? Don't be shy now. The camera's on. Tell me. <laughs> That's what I thought you said. Please subscribe to Keeping It Dutch, didn't you? Hi, come here. Come here. Everyone wants to see you. You want to go to the off-grid property with me? I think that was a yes. Gabby and Grace are in the pen today. Sorry, girls. Abe, let's go. Get in. Get in. Everyone liked your shirt, Abe. <laughs> oh, really? Sue's son wants to crow. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a good day wherever you're watching this at. Um, well, thanks for clicking on today's video. We're going to go to the off-grid property, and I'm going to make sure the, uh, the base is installed. Like it's set up right so we can start putting tent up. Next time you see me, we'll be going to, we'll be at the cabin. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. And I hope you enjoy it. Okay, we are back out here at the off-grid property. We're going to check out this shower base. I took all the stuff off of it already and uh, checked the level. I'll go ahead and check it again for you guys. Um, I thought I was recording earlier, but I wasn't, so i got to show you all again. So, I checked the level on all of it. It's all still level, perfectly level on all sides, just like we want. And you got to take my word for the back. It's level. So, I think... We did. I did it right. I think I did it right. You know, we'll just have to wait and see how it drains and all that. Um, I've had some questions about what I'm going to do as far as where's the, the um, gray water going to go. Um, let's walk back here real quick and I'll show you what my plan is. And you guys can give me some suggestions down below. Um, because this is going to be like just a little shower house, a little cabin to hang out in. And uh, what I'm going to do, let me show you. So the drain's going to come out here. What I'm thinking about is running the drain back over here and digging a pretty good hole, maybe putting a, a five gallon bucket in there with holes uh, drilled in it and then filling up with gravel. So all the gray water will just come out, go in there and seep, seep off into the ground. Gray water is not a big deal. It's not gonna be like environmentally hazard to our property or anything like that. It's gonna be a little bit of soap and water, uh, no sewage obviously. Um, so that's the plan with that. I've had several questions on that. I think that's the route I'm gonna do. Let me know um, down in the comments what you guys think. All right, let me show you the shower that I got, then I'll show you a symbol in it. And then once we get, um, once you guys see the assembly part of it, then we'll go in into um, the bathroom. We'll, we'll uh, screw down the, the base and start putting tin up. And then we're gonna use the shower today. I'm not personally gonna get in there and use it. I'm not gonna be one of them sickos that jumps in the shower and shows you guys me taking a shower. No one wants to see that, um, but I am going to show it working and uh, we'll, we'll kind of we'll kind of go from there um, because if I start showing me taking a shower we're, we're gonna have people unsubscribing like no other and we don't want that we want you guys to stick around for um, our journey here on the off-grid property so let's get into uh, putting this thing together so big thank you to Jolka for sponsoring today's video um, with their hot water tap on demand this thing is gonna be awesome I know I know it is uh, this is actually one of the ones I was looking at to buy like I probably said earlier but then I got in contact with them and they are sponsoring the video Video today how awesome is that um so you go if you guys are interested in something like this i'm going to put links down below in the description box and in the comments i'll pin it um this is uh, something i wish i would have had a long time ago whenever we, we our family goes camping a lot and um showers are not always available but now they are with this hot water on demand so let's get put together i'll do a little quick time lapse showing you guys all that and then uh, we'll get into the build and then we'll show you using this
is I, I'm pretty sure this is the water level amount going in through there. I just turned the heat all the way up and uh, put less water in there so it would heat up faster. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it all the way up just to see what it does. It's still heat fast, still, it's still heated. That's hot. And I'm just recirculating it back through here. Okay, now it got colder again because I put more water going through there. I'm going to turn the water down, that little blue knob down, see what it does. So it just kicked, the flame just kicked on. It's hot. So you have to play with it um, to get the right temperature you want. That's too hot. When they say hot water tap on demand, hot water on demand, they mean, I'm telling you, 40 seconds in and we had hot water and I just I could have done it in the in the five gallon bucket But I wanted to show um, the tub that you could do it in the tub obviously and uh, maybe at the end of the video I'll hook up the sink it has a sink with it too So you can do your dishes and all that this thing is pretty dang handy Like I said I, I, before I wish I would have had this years ago when we go camping uh, Especially for the dogs you can I was actually gonna bring uh, one of the dogs out here and give the dog a bath because one of our big issues with the German Shepherds um, especially in the winter time when it's cold you still gotta give them a bath, especially when it's snow and rainy out, they get all dirty. And we don't have a place at the house now that has warm water to give them a bath without taking them into the bathtub and getting everything filthy. Right here. If you wanna give your German Shepherd a bath outside, you need to get one of these uh, hot tap on demand, hot water on demand. Um, it's awesome. All right, enough of this. Uh, maybe we'll hook the sink up at the end of the video, but let's get into um, the shower base uh, install and uh, putting up the tin. And I gotta screw down the base and then I'm gonna put the drywall that I took down and then we're gonna start putting some tin up. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video.
Yeah. Okay, let's see if this fits. Uh, Missed this one by a little bit, but I'm gonna trim it up right here and that's gonna be perfect. This one up here is just exactly where it needs to be. All right, we'll see what this one does. That'll work. Okay, it's a little warmer in here today than normal. Uh, you can see that I'm sweating pretty good and it doesn't help that this is all surrounded by tin now, collecting the heat. But this is what I got done today. I'm gonna bring in um, the hot water heater and we're gonna run some water down the drain and uh, see, I'll, I'll temporarily put some plumbing in outside and watch it drain outside and just see how it does. But let me show you, let me show you what I got done so far. Okay. So anyone new to the channel, um, this I just plumbed this in case we ever put plumbing in here we're not actually going to be using this right now this is going to be for the hot water heater that i got outside but you can see i got all the tin up around and i'm going to come back and silicone all the bottom um, but for today we can we can still go ahead and test it out what do you guys think i think it looks pretty good <coughs> and i'll come back at the very end whenever we're going to trim everything and it'll, it'll look nicer once we're done but this is just the beginning process of of this you know that so i'm going to bring in the hot water heater and set it up and we're going to run some water down the drain for the first time this is so easy to hook up i literally just these quick connects make it awesome so i'm just going to reconnect it again down here let me flip this around The red goes on red. I don't know if you can see this, but it just pops right on. That's how easy it is. For this demonstration, we're gonna go ahead and use the five gallon bucket, but it's easier for me to carry in here. Okay, that took all three minutes to get in here, get it hooked up. Now I'm going to go underneath the house and hook up my plumbing real quick. I, I might show you that. I probably won't show you that because it's underneath there pretty good. Um, I'll hook it up, then we'll run some water out there for the first time. Ten seconds. That's crazy. Let me turn it down some. I'm gonna let it run. We'll go outside and look at drain. I didn't get the drain hooked up like I wanted to. But it'll give us a good idea. Like I said earlier, it'll come out and go into a spot. So you got cooler. This controls how hot you want it and the flow. 
I'll turn it up. Oh yeah. So basically just like that. That flame just came on. Heating it up. Oh yeah. I think I'm running my bucket out. Yep, running a little dry there. I'm gonna shut it off. Pretty dang, pretty dang handy. Okay, that's all I got for you guys in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we got a lot done. I got a lot done, I feel like. Um, now I'm going to go home and take a shower. <laughs> that one it just ain't quite done yet, but it's getting there. Um, we could set it all up right now if we wanted to, as far as like this emergency, like we got into some poison ivy or something, I had to rinse off. If that's the best case, I'd probably just jump into the <laughs> the pig waller down there. So yeah, this little hot water on demand so far works awesome. And Earlier I said it took about 40 seconds to get hot, but once that flame kicks on, it's almost like instantly, instant hot water, like right then and there. And uh, it's pretty cool. I don't know how many, you could set that down, The the uh, you can dial it down to how many gallons per minute you're going to use and all that. I ran through about three quarters of, probably about four gallons of water pretty quick, just leaving it run on high. Um, so yeah, you can adjust that for sure. Hey, if you guys are interested in that, like they sponsored not just the video today, but they sponsored our our life you might say because we're gonna be using this all the time and um, they sponsored um, the off-grid property they sponsored the cabin not just this one video um, that's that's uh, that's why I look at it they sponsored uh, us living um, out here so that's awesome um, yeah so if you guys are interested in this particular setup I'll leave links down below I'll pin it in the comment section um, they have cheaper versions this one came with the tub um, for you could actually you can we can give uh, Lily a bath in there if we want to, but it's for dishes and whatever else. You want to do some laundry in there, you can. It's, it's just multi-purpose um, little sink setup that you guys can use. And I think they just sell sell the, the setup without that, a little cheaper, I guess. I don't know. Um, just check out the links if you're interested in it. And uh, you'll probably see us be using this uh, more often on the on the channel uh, with our dogs, too, giving them a bath, like I said earlier. Um, Brandy's going to absolutely love this when she comes home and sees uh, the setup I got here. Um, I think she's going to like it. I think she's going to like using that. We can actually take that to the farmhouse right now and give them a, a shower if we want to but anyways that's all i got for you guys thank you so much for stopping by today and if you made it this far you guys love us and you probably bought some of our t-shirts <laughs> a little plug there for our shirts we have we still have some left go check out the links keeping it dutch.com www.keepingitdutch.com and uh, see if there's anything you guys anything there you guys like in your size support us that way if you want to um, but we love you guys thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next video